Okay, sorry about that. Uh, hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Let's check out Namco Museum Archives Volume 2 on Nintendo Switch. Okay. Oh, now they're asking to give you for them uh, to receive your second born male child. Still waiting. That ain't happening anytime soon. At least if not, if the rest of the world has anything to say about it. Okay, uh, so uh, let's take a look at these games. Uh, again, these are the um, original Nintendo versions, not the arcade versions. Um, so we've got uh, Galaga, uh, Battle City, oh, never even played this one, uh, Pac-Man, oh, the NES Pac-Man. I played, I, I played the, this one on um, the uh, on the PC Engine quite a bit. Uh, Dig Dug 2, Super Xevious, Mappy Land, Legacy of the Wizard, Oh man, this had like one of the coolest box arts. Um, but when I played this game, I couldn't figure out what to do. Uh, Rolling Thunder, excellent game. Um, NES version though. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Uh, Dragon Buster 2. Uh, and um, Mendel Palace. Oh, interesting. That's a Game Freak game. Uh, Gapless. Back to Galaga. Okay, so 11 titles, just like Volume 1, uh, just different titles. So let's take a look at the settings we have. Uh, we'll do zoom and we will set uh, anti aliasing, give it uh, a closer look then uh, to what it was originally on the uh, CRTs. Uh, we will turn off the background. That's it, real basic as far as settings go. Alright, Galaga. Uh, a new generation of multi-stage space challenges. The Galaga aliens have appeared, and they're even fiercer than the Galaxians. Join the attack in your dual fighter ship. Dodge the Galaga bar barrage and fight back in this thrilling battle and enjoy the magnificent challenging stages. This is the true space game for fans you have been waiting. This is the true space game the fans have been waiting for. Yes, it looks like true space, definitely. Shoot your own ship. <laughs> this really is an excellent sequel. I mean, it adds it adds so much more than the uh, original Galaxian. since I played this game. It is one of my favorites, though. It is something I could play, you know, pretty much until, uh, until the day I die. Although, again, I, I prefer the, uh, the Galaga 88 version. But uh, that's, not, that's not what this collection's about. It's about the uh, NES games. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, the original game was a, was a Tate game, so um, a little different to be playing this with the 4-3, uh, the, the, uh, the wide display, you know? Ah, damn it. Destroyed my own ship. At least I got points for it. But, you know, it's a pretty challenging game if you've never played it before. Like I said, I think the gameplay is timeless. It's just real simple pattern recognition, you know, good hand-eye coordination. Um, I think it'll, uh, and it's uh, challenging enough, has uh, enough variety. That's a good game. Alright, Battle City. What the hell this is. Uh, when the caterpillar cries, the barrage begins. An intense battle breaks out in the city. Face off against incoming enemy tanks and protect headquarters. A thrilling game that requires both smarts and guts. Two players can play simultaneously. Furthermore, construct your very own original battlefield in the game. Oh, okay, so it's a tank game? Oh, I've never even seen this game. Oh, you can pick your stage, too? Uh, well, let's pick stage one. Oh, it's combat. All right. Funny, it's a tank game. It's a tank game without tank controls. Oh, you can, you can destroy the bricks. I didn't know that. Just not the uh, not the concrete bricks. Out shooting. Oh, was that out of time? Oh, it's time based. Okay. I thought it was levels only. Well, it's certainly interesting. Um, it's not a bad game, necessarily. It's, it's really simple. Which is okay. I wonder if it was really that popular. 
course, I don't know what the priority of uh, these collectants are to use popular games or just games that they have, you know, that can clear legal. <laughs> Alright, Pac-Man. Uh, a great place to visit. Pac-Man sets off on an adventure to return a lost fairy to Fairyland. He leaves town and goes over the mountain and through the woods, meeting danger and, myster and mystery along the way. A new fantasy animation game following Pac-Man's adventures. Yeah, I was never all that fond of this game. Um, I mean, it's okay. So uh, it's interesting to see this in the collection. Um, but again, I, I played this on the uh, on the uh, the Turbo Graphics. That's really where I played the majority of it. I never saw it in the arcades. Um, I just our local arcades just didn't carry it. Ah, uh, that's right. Hit the A button to move, and then you hit up to jump. such a weird game. Because essentially it's constructed like a runner, right? Except it's not an auto runner. Yeah, but strangely enough, it's, it's even less sophisticated than the original Pac-Man, right? But I know this game has its fans. I don't know how many people played the, uh, the the original Nintendo one, like this. I know that I, I don't know anybody who had it in their collection, um, but of course, you know, they didn't know everybody in the world or anything. Just the local kids. I'm going to start playing this game. I mean, the original Pac-Man makes you feel way more anxious. It's not bad, mm. but it is definitely a, a, a much further experiment in the Pac-Man universe. Alright, uh, Dig Dug 2. I never played this. Uh, Trouble in Paradise, Dig Dug comes back stronger and more entertaining than ever. It's time for a rematch with the Pukas and Fagars on 72 Islands. Your special weapon is a drill. Use it to knock these monsters into the ocean with your new island sinking drill technique. Prepare to be caught off guard by what this new entry brings to the table. Big Dug, it was better to tap the button. Okay, so now you can use your drill to break off chunks of the entire field if you want to kill monsters that way. 
And it's worth more points to do it that way. Oh, oh, oh. You gotta be careful where you drill. Well, this sound is not good. don't want to use the drill, it's so dangerous. Nintendo, you kill me. Ah, well, that's interesting. I can see myself getting into that. That's actually kind of an uh, interesting take on uh, on Dig Dug. Okay, super Zevious. Right, so how is this different than the regular Zevious? It's the mystery of Gamp. The battlefield has evolved over 70 enemies on the offensive. Tackling this new mystery is the ship, Solvalu. Alright, I've never played this, so this will be interesting. Same basic Dream Theater concept, just new enemies and patterns. I see they still, they still didn't put any real effort into the music. <laughs> Hopefully that changes it as we hit new stages. That's better or worse than the original song. The sound effects are better though. The the actual uh, ships getting destroyed. It's a lot closer to the arcade of, uh, uh, of the, from the first game. Being the same map, do I have to just destroy every all the ground targets or something? Super annoying. Super short. Nothing like the original map. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is the map really that short? It seems like there would, there should be more to it. Hmm, maybe I'm not getting it. Um, it's not a bad game. I'm just surprised that the uh, that you start seeing the loop so so quickly. Maybe I have to play more of it to uh, to unlock more stuff. All right, Mappy Land. Mappy's Adventure in Wonderland, the game of cat and mouse with Goro and the uh, Meowkies, continues on the streets in the castle and in the jungle. Hmm, was this an arcade game? I think it was. Oh, you can play down little cat toys. That's hilarious. Jump. In fact, you have to jump. time. Definitely weird. <laughs> the totem has like frizzy hair. The totem has quarantine here. This is before there was ever quarantine. if there are objects or just part of the background. No continues? Wow. Okay. Get through it in one shot. I mean, thankfully, this collection, you can use save states, but man, the original game, just doing that all in one play. Okay, and Evil Dragon, sealed in a painting long ago, is starting to revive. Only one thing can defeat this dragon, the Dragon Slayer, a magical sword protected by four hidden crowns. Where did they hide the four crowns protecting the Dragon Slayer? Can the dragon even be defeated? The adventure starts now. Oh yeah, this is a Falcom game, um, just uh, Namco published. Like I said, they had the coolest box art. It's something that I always wanted to play. Um, 
But yeah, I said I, that we were too poor to afford a original Nintendo back in those days. Ah, you can pick your own character. Oh, let's pick generic guy. short that distance is. How many gold? Uh, what? Oh, it doesn't say how many. Are those worth 10 or 50 or what is that worth? Oh. Okay. They're worth 10. Apparently. Mm. Oh, the music's really good. fall too far. That's too far, really? Oh, damn. I mean, I guess he does jump unusually high. fire like crazy. Jesus. Wow, the music's really good. I mean, I guess even Falcon back in these days was, you know, making great soundtracks. Jump. 
What is what? I have no idea. One is revive, I'm guessing, and this one is health. How do you use this stuff? Hmm. Okay. I have no idea. Box now. Oh, that's a tough jump. I guess you get the idea. Um, huh, I was always led to believe that this was like a famously bad game, but, but it seems like it's a really good game. Um, I, I definitely want to play more of that. Uh, okay, uh, Rolling Thunder, yes. Uh, so this is the Namco one. I think Tension also released their version of Rolling Thunder on the uh, unlicensed carts, if I remember correctly, uh, for uh, the original Nintendo. And I want to say that's the better version, but this one is the uh, is the official license version. Uh, urgent orders defeat the evil secret society Geldra. They've kidnapped the female agent Lila. Infiltrate the enemy stronghold, rescue her, and defeat their leader, Mabu. Oh, yeah. Such an intimidating ma name, Mabu. Yeah, this is such a tough game, um, at least in the arcades and the. Uh, Did I play some card? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I played this here in a cage. And for a while it was a, you know, it was a franchise with new games being made. I think Roll Thunder 2 and 3 were on um, the Mega Drive. But, you know, you have limited bullets. And it's a game that once you commit to a, a jump, you can't uh, change in mid-direction. And uh, instant death, you know, one hit death. God, it, it runs so fast. The original game, the uh, original arcade game, never ran this fast. It was a much slower paced game. Not as tough as the original game. This game was a really hard game. You know, the Dark Souls of its time. Ah, damn it. 
I think I mean, two shots. Hmm, well, that's kind of cool. It's it's um, not the arcade game at all. It's a completely different game with the same mechanics. Um, but that's good. I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised it's a good game. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be, but I am. All right, uh, Dragon Buster 2. Shoot your arrows of justice to pierce through the incarnation of evil, the Dragon King. Beware, monsters lurk in the darkness of the caves. Defeat the Dragon King and retrieve the sword of justice. Oh, it's like a fantasy porn movie plot. Okay, Dragon Buster 2. Oh, did it not come out over here? Or maybe that's normal? I don't know. I never saw it. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Am I doing this thing? To the cave? Only two buttons on the NES, you know, and a start and select. That's it. It's not like there's shoulder buttons or anything. How the hell do you get in here? What buttons? Select button. Select button. Yes, of course. Oh, interesting. That was a fog of war, huh? So they changed it from a 2D game to a overhead game. the music. Well, really? It's just this this sound effects only? So sterile. Oh, you can hurt yourself. Why? Um, oh, I wish I would have known that ahead of time. Can I open this? Do I have to push select to open it? No. Mm, boy, the scrolling kind of sucks, huh? Game about ricocheting as opposed to Rick Rolling. Okay, so A picks it up, B shoots, select enters buildings, and start brings up your sub menu. I don't know what you do in here, you can't actually pick anything. This is just information only. What? What? Jeez, worrying me. Oh, what wacky controls! I can't believe there's no. I can't believe there's no music at all, except on the uh, overhead screen. Uh, it sounds like a Tommy Six Hundred game. Aren't you in the, like, the Looney Tunes? I think you tried to, like, I think Bugs Bunny tried to give him, like, a manicure. Oh. It, does it, it's, is it all a one big loop? Uh, seems like it. Yeah. Huh. Dungeon Sue? What is going on in this game? <laughs> I have no idea. That's right, kids. If you shoot old men, they eventually turn into fairies. Has to be with a bow and arrow, though. Hmm, well, 
this is a bigger map. I guess that's cool. The last map was, like, really tiny. Only one shot at a time, too. Not like I could shoot double. Let's go visit this peaceful hamlet. Which is just the same, the same bitmaps and <laughs> a different layout. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's fake? Oh, it's a mimic. <laughs> Great. Damn flying sperm can mimic things. I mean, yes, in this world it's used to uh, eventually mimic a baby, but uh, in this world it mimics a... Uh... Ah, damn it! What do I use the keys for? Do I need like multiple keys or just one key for this? No idea. Oh. Ah, the guy from uh, Looney Tunes. Interesting. I I'm not sure how I feel about that game. It's not bad. Um, I could probably see myself playing it for a while. I just I just hope there's more to it than just that. Okay. Uh, Mendel Palace. Uh, yeah, Game Freak game. So puzzle game. Uh, defeat the bad guys and save your girlfriend Jenny. Flip panels to attack. Enter a mysterious land to rescue Jenny. Now let's head for the palace in the sky. Okay, what is this game about? Let's find out. Oh, you pick your level. I know, he does kind of look like a trainer, doesn't he? Point of it is to flip the cards. Some of them just die without having to be pushed into a wall. Oh, no, no, maybe it's just because I'm near a wall. Ah, uh, I see. All right, all right. Sort of a Bomberman-ish game, huh? They can't get you. It seemed like they, I was walking right through them. Oh, I see. And walking over it collects it.
Okay, so walking over panel activates it. And then if you want more types of objects, you flip the panels over. I see. Alright. Oh, I mean, that's kind of cool. Oh, it's a bonus room. I thought it just knocked your ass out. thankful for that. That's uh, actually pretty cool. I um, never played that. Uh, yeah, I could see myself playing that for a while, actually. It's pretty creative. Okay, uh, gapless. So that's what you want, uh, gapless teeth. Uh, three years after the Galaga War, the advanced mechanical lifeforms known as the, Galp as the gapless advanced towards Earth. Equip your fighter ship with power parts called blaster heads. Use every method of attack at your disposal to defeat the gapless armada. Oh, so it's part of the... Galaxian series? Or I guess Galaga series? Huh. Parsec 1. Alright, okay, so it is Galaga. That's kind of cool. Way more fast paced. Oh, you can capture enemies. Fast. Look at that thing. Uh, I think he has a limited number of tries to get the uh, extra ship. Huh? Well, they call them reinforcements.
<laughs> Caleb's just like, you suck. We're just gonna give up. Bonus stage. Hmm. Oh, it's definitely a different take on the Galaga formula. That's uh, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I uh, I can see myself playing that one um, quite a bit. I think it was originally our, an arcade game as well, um, but yes, I I never saw it. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that was uh, Namco Museum Archives Volume Two on Nintendo Switch. Um, of course, you don't have to play this on Nintendo Switch. It's available on other platforms as well. Uh, but these are uh, collections of uh, uh, original Nintendo version games. Um, just sort of a selection from Namco themselves. Um, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, the price that uh, twenty dollars, you get eleven games uh, for every volume that they've released, and so far there's two of them. Uh, I say the games that they selected are, were pretty good. Um, there's uh, some variety in there, and um, uh, the emulation is spot on. It it behaves just like a uh, original Nintendo would. Um, so yeah, I, I like it. I think it's worth your time if you want to check it out. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.